Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and it looks like we're marooned on an island once again. Welcome to a new game called Salt 2. Now, this gets me a little happy because I did actually play the original Salt on the channel almost nine years ago. Uh, so it's always exciting to see a sequel to a game that I liked, and uh, I've been kind of itching to play a seafaring survival game for a while, and this one looks quite beautiful, as you can see. So yeah, we're going to check it out today, see if it's any good, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can survive and build a raft and get the hell out of here. That being said, it kind of looks nice here as well, so I'm kind of excited to stay. Anyways, we have to loot some stuff right now. There's a note from a stranger. If you're reading this, you didn't die. I found you shipwrecked and barely clinging to life. So the typical seafaring survival uh, storyline of just marooned on an island, not knowing how exactly we got here. I mean, that note might have went into more detail. I am of no interest in reading dialogue right now. I just want to survive. If you do want to read it, though, feel free. Uh, so, yeah, we have to find and enter a cave. I should also mention this is randomly generated. Um, so every run is going to be different, which is always nice when you're playing survival games. And it looks like I do level up different skills. I just saw I got a herbalism skill for picking that flower up. So that's interesting. Um, don't really know where this cave is, so I'm just gonna venture in here and see what we can find. It's always nice to loot a bunch of stuff at the start of survival games, because that's generally how they do. The more loot we have, the better. So, looking around, though, I think it's gonna be more than just, you know, going to the sea. These islands are looking really, really nice. We got, obviously, ore resources, uh, animal life. Speaking of that, I think I looted a, a weapon here. Let's see if we can maybe cut this guy. I mean, man's got to eat and deer's got to hopefully die. Okay, oh, man, at least I got a hidden. Uh, I'm going to need a ranged weapon. All right, so islands are quite big, but not insanely big, which is nice because I do not want to get lost. I do not have a map just yet. I think actually voyaging in this game, you use a sextant and uh, a compass. So you actually kind of have to know your bearings, which is really cool. There's deer freaking everywhere on this island. That's my third one I sliced. Hopefully I can kill one by the end of this. Oh, I didn't find a cave, but I found a nice cabin. Can I just live here? Screw going to the sea. Oh, I don't think I want to live here anymore. Drunken man shack. I, don't, I hope he's not an angry drunk. I'm, I hope he's one of those joyful ones that help me. I'm going to steal all this stuff, though, just in case. Is he dead? Drunken man? Is that, I, I, Ew, I can open a skeleton. All right, well, I guess that's where human bones are stored. Okay, well, I don't know if that's the drunken man or not. Um, I guess I'm... Abandoned shack key required. Okay. Is it here? I mean, obviously, it's not on the skeleton. I can rest. I don't think I need to rest right now, but I have no idea. I love that I just randomly stumbled upon this. I hope there's going to be more things like that. Uh, I don't know if the shack key is there or not, but let's just move forward here and try and find this cave. I'm having a hard time finding it. Oh, with my random spawn, though, it looks like we got lucky with islands. We got some similar ones right beside us, so that's good to know. If I could just find this cave so I could do the starting quest, that would be great. Ah! Ha-ha! I killed a deer! Okay. <laughs> I've been here for so long, I hit that deer like four times. Hey, that's cave looking. Oh. This isn't a cave. It's a sandy grotto. I mean, maybe there's a cave here. I don't freaking know. Oh, yeah. That is definitely a cave. Okay, so I was just on the back side of it. Sick. All right, so I've looted the whole forest now, so that's good. Uh, is there any food here that I can have? Okay, so cooking station. Ooh, can I cook my venison that I got? Wait, I didn't get venison? I have raw deer meat. Isn't that venison? Wait, no. What is venison? Yeah, but I think that that's deer, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I just had the wrong thing selected. I need cooking oil, though, and I don't... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get cooking oil without sage and, a, and plant oil. Wow, this could be more in-depth than I thought, Um, but that's cool. I'm assuming I can just cook the meat as well. Okay, should I be alarmed? I didn't expect to see, like, civilization in here. Ooh, bananas. Adventurer's last entry. I found the cave. According to my sources, there's a hidden... What the frick is hitting me? Ah, Jesus freaking Christ! Let me read! All right, well, honestly, I thought a bear would be more alarming than that. <laughs> Not that scary. Okay, back... Maybe I shouldn't read. Hold on, let's just explore the cave. Just to make sure there isn't a bunch of them. Uh, looks like we got a recipe. Throw your adventure to discover crafting recipes. Interact with these recipes in your inventory to learn them. Okay. So, I do like this inventory system. It's nice and organized automatically for me. Alright, so yeah, we have a bunch of recipes we can learn. So, I like that you have to find them. I'm hoping you can unlock some by just skilling as well. Uh, but it's nice that you can find some in random locations. This is... For an early access game, I'm getting excited. I'm curious to see how the seafaring is. Uh, oh, cooking oil. 
sick, so I can probably cook that meat before we leave. And probably cook the bear as well. I found my sources. There's a hidden, a clove with treasure in here somewhere. Apparently a breakable boulder of some kind. The note was clear. The dead man points the way. What does that mean, though? Oh, I think I know what it means. Where the hell's a dead man at? It's a good thing I read lore for the first time in my life. Oh. All right, so you're pointing. First of all, we'll steal your bone. Thanks, buddy. So this one. Oh, this is cool. The sense of adventure already is uh, fantastic. Many equipable items such as armor and weapons have talents that you can customize, inspect an item to see if it's talent tree. So items have talents? Oh, this is dangerous. So it's got the Diablo type thing where talents are randomized. So you can really try and find the best gear. Oh, that's actually really smart. I am, I think I'm, I'm going to get into this game. So we got two construction and three armor and one talent remaining. So tier one uh, adds a chance on damage taken one to two health every second or one agility. I think I would like some life steal, please. So we will equip that with my one. Dude, that is so smart. I've, I don't think I've seen a game do that. That's so fun. You can actually like tech tree your freaking armor. So that's good. I'm glad I read that lore because uh, I'm sure people would have been mad at me if I missed that. I think we're done. So yeah, it says we have to return to camp. That was our first cave adventure. May as well use this. We'll have the cooked bear that scared the hell out of me. Thank you, bear. And we can make some venison as well. I hope these things don't spoil because I just used all my ingredients. But I have three dishes now, so I'm assuming we're going to be okay. I think the bananas are my hunger bar as well. <laughs> oh, and now we just craft a raft and get the hell out of here. Okay, cool. So we'll go to the crafting bench. We can get a wave skipper. Can I do that instead? I'm actually kind of close with the... No, I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna need stone... Stone for a raft? Okay. But yeah, let's just get the ordinary raft. We definitely have enough resources because I've been stuck on this island for so long. And what else can we get here? So I'm assuming things will unlock as we explore. Place your raft from your inventory and find the cartographer at the coordinates using the map you found on the table. Okay, so hold on. Let's see if we can figure this out. So I think it wants my... Yeah, this is the map to seaport. So I'm gonna put a waypoint... That is the waypoint. How do I know where I am? Oh, probably the compass or the sextant and the compass. So we'll put those on our hot bar. Uh, we also have a, a pickaxe. Oh, I could have mined those things. I didn't even know I had that. Oh, well. All right. So yeah, I use the sextant to know my positioning. I'm zero zero. So surprise, surprise. I'm directly at the start of the game. So it looks like we just have to go directly south, which is that away. All right. So we just place the boaty. And we are... I love how quick this is. We're out of here. We already got our raft and everything. Ah, uh, okay. Let's climb before we get attacked by a shark. I don't like it. Um, if you don't know, I have a serious fear of deep water. And it even affects me in most games. So this could be interesting. So how do we do this? Turn. Turn. Can I actually rotate this? So isn't this the turn? We have a rudder. Wait, is this just telling me to turn the, the thing? Yeah. Ships can be found in the ship tab. Yada, yada, yada. I don't care. I am rafting, so yeah, pull it down, and then we can steer right here. It's actually got a steering wheel. This is better than most frigging rafts. Look at this. Ooh. Okay, so hold on. The wind, does it actually affect me? It does kind of look like there's wind control. It's hard to say, though. Anyways, we got to continuously get our bearings here. Okay, so we're one south, so we're going the right way, obviously. Okay, that has to be it. We're at three south now. I think it's five south. If it's not this, it's right beside it. I don't like these big waves. I feel like this raft could flip. I haven't seen any fins. I have no idea if there's sharks in this game yet or not. Um, I don't want to find out, though. I really do not like deep water, so we're just going to get back to an island, you know? All right, well, here's our new home for the time being. Uh, looks quite nice. Can't really see much, obviously. How do I stop this thing? Oh, yeah, probably by turning that. Perfect. Now, will it float away? That's the question. Look at that park job. I am a, I am a freaking professional. Okay, and at the middle of the island, we have humans. Hello? Why is there a ship here, by the way? What, is, what happened here? I mean, it looks like there's a crater. Mermaid's Cove? Okay, are you, are, you, are, are, are you nice? I do have a weapon. I didn't even see you over there. Hello, everybody. Dude, I love that there's little villages. What's going on, man? You're in my way. Oh, okay. Dude says a lame joke and says I'm in his way. Okay, so cartographer. Um. Oh, well that worked out. <laughs> Hello, you are who I need. Uh, do you, wait, um. You've got the look of a new sailor about you. Are you looking for a master navigator to take you under his wing? Yes. 
Don't be ridiculous. You're looking at one. This hair didn't get this beautiful from sunshine alone. You only get these curls with the salt of the sea, but I digress. I'll help you become a respectable sailor. What do I need to do, man? First, a sailor doesn't sail in a dingy old raft. Thank you. Oh, I, I didn't want that thing. It was, oh, it was close to tipping. All right, so we have to build the wave skipper, which is what I wanted to do anyway. So this game's fantastic. It's going directly in the way that I want it to go. You'll need lots of materials to craft it. I'd be willing to give you the supplies if you do something for me first. Okay, what do you need? Uh, some pesky pirates stole my favorite compass. I want you to hunt them down. Murder every last pirate until I get my... Well, he would like to find his compass. Okay, plain and simple. Go hunt pirates so I can build a, a small boat. Seems fair. I don't really know where we're supposed to go. Did we get part of a map? I did get a commander's ring recipe, but I don't think I have any waypoints. Do I? Oh, I do. Map to seaport, map to pirate island. Okay, so I'm assuming we got to go to pirate island. I don't know how to turn it around, guys. Oh, this is bad. Um, There's got to be a way to pick it up and replace it. Is it actually still in my inventory, maybe? <gasps> oh, it is. Okay, place. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of annoying. I hope you can just grab it later. Because it's kind of weird that you got to deal with, like, inventory systems to turn your boat around. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to head out here, figure out where exactly we're going. So, we are here. I think we're still here, right? Let me just make sure. I have to constantly update this. We're four south, and we have to go way west. So, we'll just focus on that right now. We're just going to take a hard left. And this is going to be quite far, so I'm not seeing anything in front of me, but that's not surprising, because I think we'll be sailing for a while. That is directly west. Sick. Okay, there's an island there. What are we at right now? Yeah, so that is likely it. I guess I'm a little off-center. That's fine. All right, and here we are. So I'm not seeing any pirate ships. Uh, I also didn't see anybody walking about, so they might be in a cave or something. I have no idea. I'm kind of excited, though. This is, uh, this is really fun. Oh, there's a cave right there. How convenient. I'm assuming that's... Ooh, gold. Give me the gold. Uh, of course, I figured I wasn't going to be able to do that. 30 mining. Jesus. I, I think I'm too herbalism, so the grind could be real in this game. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to explore. I mean, I, I know where the cave is, so I'm assuming that's where we need to go, but we may as well try and loot here as well. Mercenaries quarters. Oh, great. Um, Can I hire you? Or are you going to try and kill me? I mean, I, I'm, I'm cool with either, honestly. Hey. Okay, yeah, I figured. There we go. Oh, man, this guy's actually strong. Okay, so you can block. Might have been a bad idea to do that, considering I have to uh, kill pirates as well. But hopefully there's some loot here. There we go. That's the good stuff. Oh, banana, sick. I still have an eight, by the way. Uh, maybe I should do that to see if I can heal that way. I do know I think I have health potions as well. But yeah, let's eat some bananas, and is that doing anything? Oh, it is healing me. Sick. Okay, so food does heal, and it does also increase my food bar. I need to eat a lot of bananas to increase the food bar, though. God damn. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is, just in case these fights get a little difficult, I'm going to throw the um, health potions on the bar, because I do have this menu where I can grab any of my weapons as well, which is really nice. So yeah, I think that quick slot thing is more for food than anything else. All right, let's go into the cave, see if there's any loot here. Oh, dust-ridden prison. Great. So I wonder if these are all randomized too. Um, I wonder if I can open this up. It looks like it's going to be quite big. Hopefully I can find a key. I've been stationed as a prison guard for my new pirate crew. The coin is good, and I've been doing the job for about four months now. I try to treat the prisoners as good as possible, though some of the guards almost find it an enjoyment to tease and mistreat them. Anyways, I know we left things a bit rocky with our last discussion, but I hope it's all water under the boat now. <laughs> uh, all right, well, unfortunately, no secrets there of hidden rooms and whatnot, but that's okay. Okay, let's just go down the creepy cave. Oh, hello. Uh, didn't expect to see you here. Oh, God damn it. Okay, come on. Oh, man, this guy... This guy's got a lot of HP. Actually, he's not doing much damage, though. I should probably just not block. I feel like blocking just wastes time. I don't know what bottles are for, but I have so many of them. <laughs> I like that inventory is not a big thing in this game. Ooh! Sneak by pressing C on keyboard. Um, while sneaking attacks deal extra damage. <gasps> I didn't know there's, there's stealth mechanics. Dude, I have so much loot. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's an archer. Bob and Weave. Wow! Okay, Legolas, chill out. Oh, he even freaking tries to run away. This guy's an actual legit archer in this game. Stolen compass. Oh, that's what I needed. I didn't even know this was the right cave. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, let's uh let's heal up. Yummy. 
Because we have another guy we got to fight over here. Oh, come on. You saw me? I'm, I'm under the deck. Come on. That's as stealth as it gets. Oh, can I kite this guy? Come here. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Oh, God. Can you hit me? Oh, no. You're cheating. You're cheating. You're going to get headshots every freaking time. Yeah. Screw off, Warden. Ah. That's right, jerk. Ah, Luke Cave Key and Pirate's Cove Key, I think I saw there. Oh, a lock pick? Oh, there's going to be lock chests. Oh, a hat. Okay, now, I, now I'm a freaking true pirate. We also get talents with those. Add chance. Um, chance on damage taken. Reduce the speed by 25%. I'm going to get some extra damage. All right, we can pull this. Please don't lock behind me. That would suck. <laughs> what is that? Oops, I accidentally ate one of my uh, health potions, but I'm assuming we'll find more of those. Oh, it's copper. Interesting. So in the dark, it's got like a, an oil slick style to the uh, actual nodes. Okay, I've looted like five compasses now. Use Pirate's Key to unlock it. Yes, uh, of course. This has got to be a good chest. Commander's Axe. Map to Ancient Ruins, another pirate hat, and a strong stamina potion. So let me see. Now that we have two hats, I want to see if the uh, talents are randomized. They are. So I can get a bow hat or dexterity. I want my other hat more. But if I do want to go range-based... Obviously, I'll use that hat. Dude, this is so freaking cool. I hope I can sell all this crap somewhere because I have looted so much already in this game. Probably more than any other game I played. Oh, great. God damn it, I did it again! I, all right, I need to get the health potions off my bar. All right, let's see if we can sneak up and try this sneak attack, though. And... Boop. Oh, that was amazing. Okay, sneak attacks are worth it. Uh, Well, that would be the last thing I expected to find. Uh, we have a ghost pirate. I don't know if I can even kill you, sir. I'm, well, that's a dumb thing to say. <laughs> oh, God. Hello? Please don't hurt me. Hi. You there. Let an old ghost pirate tell you his tale, would you? I haven't seen a traveler in quite... Oh, God. It's one of those old man ghosts that just want to tell me a story. Gotta be honest. Not really care. I don't really care what happened with this guy's life. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was be was going to be. I probably should have read that. I have no idea what happened to him. He seems like a nice ghost, though, so I'm going to steal his ghostly stuff. All right, well, I don't know if I'm just uh, seeing things at this point, but that was the weirdest thing yet. I wonder if I could, I could probably kill him. I mean, he does have a health bar. I don't think I want to fight a ghost. That would be a dumb thing. All right, it's dark o'clock, so I'd rather not sail right now. So let's go check this other cave out. This isn't creepy at all. Uh, and see what... Oh, great. Right, right of way? Jesus. Like, why do you guys just chill in caves? It doesn't even make sense. Thank you. I, I needed a banana, actually. All right, we, 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 we got a key, so use loot cave key to unlock. Yes! A key goes to this place, and this is just a big loot cave. Okay, well, that was nice. Oh, gold ingots. Holy crap, I already got gold in the game. We got a bunch of maps, another bow. Okay, so I'm gonna rest till sunrise. That's what I kind of wanted to do anyways. Uh, I took a double look around. I actually missed a lot of items. There's freaking items everywhere. But I don't think I need all this. I feel like this game's too giving right now, but maybe at the start it wants to give me a bunch of stuff and then we go out on our own. Like, I have no idea. Fishing hook. All, all, all I need, I think, is the fishing pole now. So I did loot some more stuff as well. Uh, but yeah, let's get back and, uh, well... Get away from the raft stage, because we should get a ship for this. I also got those other maps to the ancient ruins and catacombs, so that's exciting. 21 west, 13 north. That is insanely far, though. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go back to Seaport, and we'll do those another day. All right, back to civilization. Let's go get paid and uh, say goodbye to the raft. You were really nice, but I'm excited to get away from you. All right, let's finally get paid. Give me my ship. Got it right here. Well, you've done what I asked. As I promised, here's enough supplies to build the Wave Skipper. You can use my cartographer's station over there to build it. All right, here we go. Moving up in the world. We have the Wave Skipper. Ah, that feels pretty good. First episode, I've already upgraded from a raft. Okay, and it does look like I was worried that those are all the ships in the game, but it looks like we just have to find them. Just kind of looking around here. Uh, there's two ships in here alone, dude. This game, for an early access, I am seriously impressed. Um, I need to get a forge. Okay, so I need to get all the generic survival stuff now. I don't know if I can put that on my ship or not. I hope so, because one thing I hate in games like this is when you have to build a base and you just want to explore and then you lose that base. I love the idea of turning my ship into my survival base, you know, kind of like raft. All right, so we'll place this bad boy and look at that. That's bigger than I thought it was going to be too. We have a legit ship. 
Oh, this is this is perfect for one person and it's empty, so I know I'm going to be stocking it myself. I did actually have um yes, a chest. Now I don't know if I can use that chest or not, but we shall place it right here for the time being. That is slightly sideways. That's going to bother me, but that's okay. Ship storage coming soon. All right. Well, don't have it yet, but we will have it when the game gets updated to have it. And I think on that, guys, that's a good time to wrap up this first episode here. Uh, gotta be honest, I did not expect this amount of detail in Salt 2, especially considering it just came out. So I'm super excited to explore more. We do have those other two maps of the ancient ruins and whatever else it was. Uh, I also do want to go buy a fishing pole and see what that's all about. Uh, but yeah, I am truly enjoying this. The sense of adventure is fantastic. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Let me know if you want to see more in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.